Hi, this is Sonia with Artsy Solutions and today I want to show you how I up, uh, upload a graphic um, onto Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to use one of the files that I made um, for my blog uh, on Multimedia Crafts Digital. And um, I'll, show, I'll have a link provided in the bottom. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to New Project. Upload. Upload image. Browse. And then I want to find where I have it at. It's in my 3D's folder. Rustic Beauty Kit, and I want to use some gears, so I want to upload the first one, and it is a pretty large image, and you can choose if you want it simple, moderately complex, or complex. I always go with complex. Continue, and then it gives you the option to erase and select um, sections that you want to keep or delete or whatever. I don't need to do anything because it, this is already a transparent file so I don't have to erase anything. So I'm going to hit continue. And um, you want to give it a name so for my tags I'll just put um, rustic industrial metal and that's good enough and then I'm just going to hit save Go ahead and upload my next image, which is another gear. And I'm, I'm taking it from the same kit, the Rusted Beauty Kit. That's uh, it's a freebie on Multimedia Crafts Digital. And I'm also going to make this complex. Continue. want to be saved as a print then cut image and then I will also give this some tags um, industrial So I'm going to go over here to the left and um, I'm going to click new because I'm going to create a new canvas and I'm going to go to images because I'm going to find one of the images that I just now um, uploaded. We type in gears one or whatever the, whatever the name of the gear that we just created. You want to click on it, left click, and then left click insert images. Okay, and then that's your first gear and I'm going to click unlock because I'm going to change the size so I just hover I take my mouse when you see this arrow hovering over the lock button you just left click it and that unlocks it and you come over here to the right at this little handle and you're going to click it and drag to reduce the size 
to whatever size you want yours at. And I think I'm gonna leave mine at one point. I should think I'm gonna make it a little smaller. I'm just gonna make this one inch. I'm gonna go over here to size and just hit one for the width. bigger 1.25 inches. Uh, that's a good. So we'll just scale back 1.10 inches. Yeah, I can look at that. Okay, and then we want to I want to insert another one. So I'm gonna go back to images. And then I'm going to type gears 2 because those were the names of the gears I just now uploaded. Okay, and then I'm going to click on it. And then it's highlighted in green. So I'm just going to click insert images. This is that big in, uh, image. So it takes a minute to upload. Coming to the document. I leave it at the size that it's at one and a half inches okay so when I click on it it shows over here in the layers panel cut and print I don't want to uh, print only thing I want to do is just uh, cut it out so um, because I'm going to cut it out as a uh, chipboard and then I want to cut a, a slightly larger size with a black card stock. So actually I'm going to work under fill up here at the top where it says fill print. I'm going to click on this little drop down button and I'm going to click no fill. Now I'm just going to change this color to brown or like a beige's color because that's going to be representative of the chipboard. Going to right click and um, make a copy of it. And then I'll move this copy over. Well, instead of copy, I'm just going to right click duplicate. Okay. And then I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. I made it like 1.79 inches it's like a quarter inch bigger and I'm gonna make this color black because that's going to represent going in behind it so um, where I clicked on the black layer the the gears gears to black layer and over here where it says arrange I want to send it to back that way it's behind this other gear so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like when the two are cut out and put together and I'm going to link the beige layer and I'm going to hit control and I'm going to click cut the, the black layer so 
click Beige Layer, and then hit Control at the same time you hit Click for the Black Layer, and that's going to put it's going to highlight both layers. And I'm I'm just going to go to Group, and these two are grouped together. So when you move it around, they stay together. Now I'm going to come back over here to this first one. I don't really like the shape of that, so I'm just going to. So when I click on it, you see over here in the layers panel, it says cut and print. We're not doing any printing today. So we're going to go back over here to fill up at the top, click print, no fill. Okay. So, um, and this one's going to also have a black backdrop. I'm just going to leave it that color and then I'm going to hit um, right click, duplicate, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to slide this over a little bit. So right now, the dimensions of this is 1.15 inches wide and 1.11 inches high. <clears throat> so I'm just going to increase it by about a quarter of an inch. Well, maybe not even a quarter of an inch. Um, about an eighth of an inch. The width of this is 1.32 and the height is 1.27. And I'm just going to go over here to the field and I'm going to change the color to black. And then I'm going to come over here to arrange and I'm going to click send to back. And then I'm going to click that highlighted layer that we're on now. And then the gears one the gray one, I'm going to hit control, click, and I'm just going to align these horizontally and vertically just to see what it looks like. Okay, so I did like that. So I'm going to highlight the two layers again, and I'm going to group the two. Okay, so now these are ready to print. I'm just going to save this and give it, I'm just going to call it gears. Save. Okay. So now I'm going to get ready to make it. Let's click make it. Actually, let's go back. have made this gray the same color as the chipboard so we're just gonna leave it like that. That way when it cuts it'll cut out both gears, both of the top gears that are the same color and both of the bottom ones. it so it's wanting the black cardstock first so um, I'm going to actually arrange these on here on this mat you can you can do that before it actually click that uh, before it actually cuts just click on it and position it wherever you want it at on the mat so right now these are positioned between um, half an inch and three quarters of an inch so really anyway so let's hit continue and I'm using cardstock for the black and it's connected to my machine and let me change it on here It to cardstock. I changed it on the machine and 
Um, so it's ready for me to load the mat. And then I'm just gonna hit go. Okay, now that the black one's cut, we're going to go to number two for the chipboard. And I'm going to change my um, settings. As a matter of fact, I think I have to change my mat. Okay, so here's what it looks like after it's cut out. And all I did was I left these intact, these little black pieces. Instead of taking them apart, I left them together. And then I just put this uh, brown one on the top. For both of them. And I painted it, and this is how I used it. Let me just scroll back a little bit. I used it in a, a journal folio, which I could have left it those colors on here, but I painted it. So, but yeah, that's how you can use it. Um, upload your images, cut them out, and then just add them to your projects. Just have fun with it. Thanks for watching, and if you like my channel, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.